Hi guys, it's Brittany here from Bronze Blog, and today I'm doing a bold, colorful summer look. So if you like this look and are looking for something to pop this summer, stay tuned. Since this is a summer look, I don't want it to be too matte. I want my skin to actually be a little bit dewy and have a summer glow. So um, for the primer, I'm going to use the NYX Honey Do Me Up Primer. This is actually my first time using this primer. Um, so hopefully it gives me that really dewy and not so much matte look that I'm looking for. And let's see how it goes. Just so you can see the texture of the primer. Definitely never used a primer with this kind of texture before. I feel like I'm applying glue on my face. <laughs> Like it doesn't feel like glue, but just the way the bottle is and like how there's like this stringiness coming out of it, I just feel like I'm applying glue. It's definitely like really cooling feeling, which feels really good. Because um, I want to have that glowy look, like I said before, I'm going to take a little bit more and I'm going to mix it with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Low, Liquid, Liquid Glow Highlight. And the color is bronze. So I'm just putting a little bit of the primer on my brush. And then I'm just going to add like a drop or two of the highlight. While that sits, I'm going to get started on my eyebrows. So today I'm going to use the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. And what color is this? Espresso. <laughs> so one end is a brush, a little brush side. And then, of course, the other side is the pencil, which you can make it go up or bring it down. I really need to get my eyebrows done, so it's going to be quite a challenge. summer or for hotter weather I don't really like to wear like full coverage matte foundations I know it's kind of like the opposite of what a lot of, a lot of people like to do just to prevent getting really oily but um, I just don't like the way it feels on my skin when it's really hot and I actually prefer a very like kind of dewy finish um, when the climate is hotter um, so I prefer to use the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue Tinted Hydrated Gel Cream, and I wear it in chestnut. Um, if you have super, super oily skin, I probably wouldn't recommend this um, tinted gel cream or foundation, I don't really know what you call it, um, because it does give you like a pretty kind, it definitely doesn't give you a matte finish, and um, it does give you kind of like a dewy finish, but I, I like, it feels 
real to me like the finish it gives you I'm not sure how to explain it like just it just feels like a very nice soft um, texture and it is definitely not very full coverage if you wanted to probably try and get some kind of full coverage with this you probably have to add a lot I like keep really just adding on layers which is not really what I do um, I use a pretty minimal amount and um, most of the time if it's like a very like a uh, everyday kind of five minute makeup look I'll just mix this again with some kind of um, liquid highlighter to give like a very glowy, shimmery, dewy finish. So now I'm gonna add concealer and I'm going to use the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the color medium dark to caramel. I'm gonna use a little bit to clean up my eyebrows, just a little bit. prefer to use um, I don't remember what it's called but this is from Fenty Beauty it's like their own version of the beauty blender I prefer it because it has like that flat top which for me is easier for getting it really blended on my under eye so it's my go-to okay so now that I'm done with the concealer, I'm going to set everything and um, I'm going to be using the Laura Mercier Translucent Medium Deep Setting Powder or Translucent Setting Powder in Medium Deep. And then I'm also going to mix it with the Ben Nye um, Banana Powder. I'm mixing it really... Um, I like the color it gives or the look it gives when I mix it but also because I'm trying to finish this but I also want to use this so that's also a part of it. So I'm going to put it in my on my under eyes first so I really don't get any creasing. I'm also going to do it along the sides of my nose. So, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with a transition color. And for that color, I'm going to be using the NYX Ultimate Shadow Palette in Smoky and Highlight. And the color I'm using is... I'll be using this like bronzy brown color here. I'm going to add it just in my crease right here. Kind of lightly bring it back and forth. Now I'm going to use the NYX Ultimate Multi Finish Shadow Palette in Electric. Electric. <laughs> And I'm going to be using. Ugh, can I get this open? 
all three of these colors here. I'm going to first start with this kind of like, I don't know what you call this. Is it turquoise? Is it teal? Is it sea foam? Oh, I don't know. Anyway, these are the three colors I'm going to be using. I'm going to start off with this top one, you can see, which is, um, it kind of the way this palette is like the first row are like really matte colors and the second row it's kind of like has a little bit more shimmer and then the third row is like the most shimmer in that color so i'm going to start off with this then i'm going to add another layer with the second shimmer and then i'm going to top it off with the shimmeristy of shimmer of yeah <laughs> Okay, my battery ended up dying, so um, while I was charging, I kind of finished up most of this half of my face. I just haven't added, you know, lashes and lips and all that. But, um, so I'm going to finish off this side so you can see the steps that I took to get here. Um, yeah, so I'm going to use my NYX number 13 brush and start off with this top color here in the ultimate multi-finish uh, shadow palette in electric. So I'm gonna take this color and add it, sorry, start in the crease and then kind of blend it into the lid. So now I'm gonna go ahead and add um, this color here. It's essentially the same process, this just starting in the crease and then um, blending it onto the lid. Pulling it up, double up on the rear. Since Blake State, I don't care. Walking around up in Times Square, they say, son, you a millionaire. My son, a millionaire. Snakes button Okay, now I'm going to add that last, very like, um, shimmery color but I'm not going to put it on the crease like I did the other two colors I'm just going to really kind of like uh, pat it on the lid now um, I'm going to add this, I'm going to use, I'm going to use this kind of flat brush from um, Sephora, it's, num it's called the Pro Smudge number 11 brush and I'm going to use this second color here for um, on the bottom. So now I'm going to add some mascara. I'm going to use the CoverGirl Lash Blast Volume Mascara. This is in black. So before I apply lashes, I'm just going to finish up the rest of my face and then yeah. So now I'm going to take off um, the setting powder that I have underneath my eyes. And then now I'm going to use my favorite, favorite, favorite blush for like summer looks, and it is by Dior. It is your blush in Coral Cruise. And I love coral blushes because I just think they look so fabulous on my skin. 
I don't really use the brush that they provided, but it's convenient. Last but not least, I'm going to add highlight and I'm going to use the famous Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Highlight in Trophy Wipe. Once again, super, super pigmented, has a lot of glitter, which is everything I'm going for in this look. A very pigmented, glittery summer look, so when the sun hits you, you just shine from all angles yeah, so this is a kind of like the same thing a little goes a long way and then I'm going to take my Bobbi Brown highlighting powder in bronze gold. I'm not going to show it to you because I dropped it and it broke in a million pieces. But um, I kind of just stuffed them all back into the box. And I'm just going to, it's my favorite highlighter actually. And I love the color and it goes on so smooth. So I like to kind of double highlight with it. Um, so I'm going to add it on my nose. Okay, so my camera died again. Um, clearly was not fully organized and prepared to film this video. Um, so while it was charging, I went ahead and just did my hair and added lashes. The lashes I'm wearing are um, Cara lashes in number 110. And I like them because they're super natural and they're really easy to apply. And I use the um, glue by House of Lashes, which is my favorite glue and it's the only glue that I use. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and, um, sorry, spray my face with the NYX Dewy Finish Setting Spray. And then I'm going to finish off with my lips. I'm going to first start off with the Ultra Glossy Lip, which is from the LRE uh, ColourPop collection, and it is called Netta. I'm going to add the color Stilo from the same collection. Okay, so this is the look. Um, this is really good for any type of, I think, outdoor or like summer event that you might be going to. Um, so yeah, this is it. I hope you enjoyed it and if there are any other makeup looks that you want to see, just let us know and let me know your feedback in the comments. Thanks!